Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Well, it's been a long time since I posted a video, so because I've been busy and I haven't had a, um, you know, great ideas. Um, so, um, but I have a great idea now. Let's build a chat system. Yep, that's right. I said it. Let's build a chat system to be able to chat to each other. Now you say, hmm, I use Facebook, and I'll be like, hmm, well, but it uses Facebook. You'll be like, hmm. So. Uh, at the end of our hums, um, the solution to my to so, so the the thing that I'm trying to say is that we should build a chat system which would allow you to chat peer to peer, and you can use your own encryption and that kind of stuff. You know, you can ex expand your chat system and you can um, you and you can send it to people and you can tell people to use your chat system you use your chat system because your chat system is more secure because it uses peer to peer uh, communication and you'll be using encryption and you will and you can claim that your encryption is more powerful than uh, the one that Facebook uses and you will never give away the, in the encryption keys to anyone you know anyone else or the FBI or the government you know so uh, keeping all that aside let's begin to architect our chat system. Now I've just opened Notepad, the good old Notepad, uh, even though I'm on Windows 8. Um, to put our ideas here about how we're going to build the chat system. Now the way we'll all be doing it really is we'll be executing the entire thing in three different and distinct phases. The first phase is the design phase. The second is implementation. Now, when I say design, I don't mean paper design, I mean GUI design, which is technically implementation. But this implementation implementation is implementation of the technology that's going to power this whole thing, which is the chat. Because what good is a chat system if you can't chat? Um, so, chat implementation. Uh, and the third thing is going to be, of course, testing. And then we'll go back to here and here, and we'll do some changes. And we can always, uh, since we are agile and we are, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Um, we'll do some design. We'll probably do this. Then we'll be like, oh, we should have added a text box there, and we'll go back there. We'll add a text box. We'll do this, and we'll be like, hmm, uh, that was a bad idea. We'll go back here, um, take away the text box, um, do some stuff, and then we'll be like, hmm, this works. Let's go test it. We would do, we'll do the test, and then we'll be like, "Hmm, it's broken." We'll go back here. So you know, you get the idea. Um, the first step is the GUI design. In the GUI design, what we'll do is we'll create a GUI. Now, the chat system will have GUI because of the fact that um, it makes interaction easier, and we're in this GUI world where everything's clicky and touchy, and you can do all that stuff. So yes, we need a GUI. Now, for a chat system, we need uh, the very basic components of the graphical user interface are going to be stuff like text box, uh, buttons, and text areas. That's basically it. That's what we're going to have in our GUI. So, text box, button, oh, text area. Now, what is the text box for? Well, the text box is going to be for the, well, of course, the uh, send message. We will also design text boxes to, uh, which will ask the, well, where the user can enter the IP address of the remote machine, so IP address, and the port number of the remote machine, so port number. Um, so, yeah, button, what for? Um, connect, because you need to click the button in order to connect. Disconnect. Now, I know many of you must have said that, why don't we just create a button that would change its text depending on the state of the connection. Um, while I appreciate that that's a good idea, um, we want to keep this system extremely simple and you know, we don't want to do all that coding, say, if text is connect, do this, if it's disconnect, do this, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's just keep them separate. Um, the first thing is going to be the send button. 
because you need to click the send button in order to send the t in order to send the chat message. Yeah, cool. Um, and what is the text area for? Um, text area is gonna be the incoming chat thing. So incoming chat, and we could probably append the outgoing chat to it as well. So outgoing chat. Now, what about the chat implementation? Now, there are two things to this. Um, we're all going to have to develop a socket server. Well, we'll have to implement the socket server or the server socket Java object that would allow you to receive the text messages or receive a connection. Uh, we will also have to implement a client a server a client socket thing so that people can actually send stuff uh, or connect to a different IP so server client got it easy cool now testing what will the testing involve um, set testing will major well will mainly involve stuff like a virtual machine because I don't have an extra machine to test this on so virtual machine and the host machine which is this machine this this machine on which you are seeing the, the mouse cursor so the host machine uh, host machine which is this uh, this Windows 8 machine of mine um, yeah so basically that's it uh, it's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 things to do. It's not so hard, is it? Right, so let's get cracking with the GUI design. Let me just minimize this quickly, and since we have got our plan, we'll put that into action. Let's create a Java project, Java application. Next. I'm going to call this um, chat app. I'm going to call it my chat app because it's my chat app and not anyone else's chat app. Final, uh, finish, final. Did I just say final? No. Um, so, yep, that's everything's good. Let's just create a new package, new Java package. Dot GUI. Press enter, and there we go. That's our package. Oh, I've got triple P's in there. Uh, oh well, it makes it even more unique. Uh, right click new um, JFrame form because we want to make a GUI. So JFrame form, and in the class name, I'm going to call it um, main screen finish. There we go. That's our blank slate um, where we can make the GUI design and get and get cracking. So I'm going to with every GUI design, I'll do um, here as well. I will expand it because who wants to make a program which is that small? No one. Um, I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that people, we can uh, accommodate more things in it and uh, make it a bit more pretty. What I'll do though is I'll make it a bit smaller because it's my screen is terrible, I know. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to add a text field to it. And now this is where people will enter the IP address of the remote machine. I will add another thing, another text field to hold the port number. Uh, two buttons, connect and scroll up, disconnect. So I'm going to edit this a bit because I like to call everything by name connect button. This is going to be disconnect button. This is going to be a port text uh, field. And this is not that. This is going to be the IP address. Um, now we need the text area. The text area should be in here because, well, you want a big text area to see the incoming stuff. So that will be your text area. I'm going to call it. Uh, hang on, did I just. Uh, right, okay, no. Uh, chat. I'm just going to call it chat to make things easy and simple. 
the next thing that we need is a text field which will allow users to type the the actual message and a button in the corner where people will click and the button would say send so send button now this is a disconnect button so I'm gonna make it look like a disconnect button disconnect this is gonna say connect this is gonna be blank oh, one two three four so people will know that it's a port um, text field. Um, this is gonna be IP address. I'm gonna keep it blank because we don't know the IP address. This is the um, message text field. So I'm just gonna call this blank as well. And this is the button, uh, the easy send button. So I'm just gonna call it send. Now I'm gonna resize the GUI thing to match the actual thing. So there we go. It's perfect. Let's run it. Shift F6. And there is my beautiful program. Um, that's the IP address. So I can say 192.168.0.3. I can enter the port number, so 8888. And click connect or disconnect. And I could have a message say, yo, how's it going? Um, and then click uh, then click send and it will send the message. Um, yeah, so that's our first step to the actual program to have the chat system working. So what I'll do is I'll stop here and in the next video we'll explore how to implement the extra stuff, how to make this actually work rather than just looking at the plain GUI and um, pretending that we are getting messages from moon and stuff you know uh, we'll actually send messages across um, the virtual machine and the host machine in the end so that would be quite exciting as well so um, yeah so that's it guys uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial till then uh, happy exploring bye bye